This is a remarkable thing. It was launched yesterday from Wanaka Airport after four unsuccessful attempts thwarted by bad weather or leaks. The balloon is 18 million cubic feet in size and will float above the world for the next 98 days at just over 100,000 feet above the Earth. You can track its progress around the world on a map which shows where it is on real time now. NASA's mission manager, Janet Letchworth, joins us now. Hi, Janet. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, well, well, yeah. De yeah delightful. Delighted to discuss balloons. It's been a heavy old day, so let's escape together. Where are you, Janet? Uh, I'm still at the Wanaka Airport. It's, uh, it takes a few days. Well, for one, we're actively monitoring the balloon now and making sure everything's um, operating as we expected, and sure enough, it is. Okay, let's... Happy. Yeah, yeah, so you are happy. T tell me about progress so far. It left Wanaka yesterday. It is where? Somewhere above Australia now. Actually, it uh, just entered in south of Sydney, and it'll go over the Blue Mountain National Park, and then it will be north of Adelaide and, and cross out back out into the ocean from there. Wow. So what sort of speed is it going at? Well, it will, it will be completely... Um, off of the continent again by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Out of Australia? Out of Australia completely. Mm -hmm. So it's getting along at what kind of rate? Um, well, my... I, what is our current velocity now? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. Live with the latest, Janet. <laughs> it's pro uh, probably over um, 50... 50 nautical miles um, per hour. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, okay. It, it, so what are, you, what are you working on? What is the point of all of this? Well, um, the scientists, our science, the, the balloon itself is part of, uh, of this mission's test objective. So the balloon itself, getting to the 100-day missions, is really going to be a game changer for um, for the planetary and astrophysics research community, especially here in the lower latitudes. It's just a, an amazing thing to have a relatively inexpensive research platform that can stay for those durations yeah. over day and night. Um, but on top of that, we've got the COSY telescope on board, and they're um, mapping a quarter of the sky with every, um, every pass, um, every night time pass, and they're um, looking for high energy particles, asking those fundamental, uh, where do stars come from, Where's what's the galaxy made of type of questions. The big questions, right? Mm -hmm. The big ones. Very okay, big so if you want to follow its progress and also see some of the images it's sending back, are you able to do that yet? Uh, certainly. Um, on our the website that uh, that I heard you mention, yep. um, we have some uh, the footage from the camera. We, I mean, from the balloon itself, we don't have much of on the public. Those will be um, released probably on our Facebook page um, and intermittently. It just takes quite a bit of power yeah. to download those things, and um, so we're not, we don't actively stream those. Now, Janet, I just saw some pictures. For people listening on the radio, there were some pictures that were taking off. It's a beautiful thing, as balloons so often are, but it did seem to me to have solar panels on the bottom. Is that, I mean, I'm, I know nothing yes, about does. this stuff. So, so that's how it's powering the work it's doing. Correct, and and a lot of the the majority of those panels were actually for the telescope itself, because um, the Cozy team is getting all of their information downloaded real time, and so if in the event um, that we aren't able to recover their telescope, they'll still have their science data. Wow, wonderful! Mm -hmm. As it floats up, looking kind of ethereal and wonderful and slightly. Uh, mysterious. Do you ever get calls saying, you know, I've just seen a UFO? Does that ever happen? Oh, yes, we get those sightings uh, quite a bit. We expect t through the night we'll get that, especially, you know, because at uh, sunrise and sunset, yeah, it must be beautiful. Uh, a lot of times it catches it and, and really catches people's attention. Um, also, we get a lot of aircraft um, concerned that they're going to intercept it. And the truth is, it flies three to four times higher than you know, most airplanes even can. So it's what, somewhere up around 100,000 feet, is it? Yeah, 110,000 feet. Goodness mm -hmm. gracious me. 33 and a half kilometers up. And yeah, it's a long, that's a long way up. It's a long way up. Yeah. But, it's, but it's big enough that it kind of, it, it's deceiving. It looks like a smaller balloon at a lower altitude. 
NASA Mission Manager, Janet Letchworth, thank you very much indeed.